he abandoned the run game far too early. 100% correct. Uh, Shanahan has been notorious for this. Whenever he falls a little bit behind early, he just throws the run game away. So my one thing that I would change is I would, one, run the ball more often, but two, this is the most important part, give different players an opportunity to run the ball. Mm, Let's just say we're going to have 25 carries minimum. Okay, Mm -hmm. Uh, for the 49ers every single game. That should be the minimum workload. We only had 16 versus the Falcons, which is a big reason why they lost. I would say, okay, here's what I would do with our current backs right now. Here's what I would do. I would do nine carries. I'm doing this off the top of my head. Nine carries for Jeff Wilson Jr. Nine Mm -hmm. carries for TDP. Mm -hmm. Three carries for Jordan Mason. Two for Mm -hmm. Debo. That's 24. Mm -hmm. And then two more. uh, One for Juszczyk, one for Tevin Coleman. I want multiple people touching the ball. I hate how he has this monopoly mindset that it just has to be this one guy. And I think that just is such a detriment. We have seen how explosive Jordan Mason is. He got one carry this year for seven yards, and he never got another touch. I just don't understand why that is. We're up, what was it, 35 to 17 against the Panthers. Mm -hmm. He's still got Jeff Wilson back there toting the rock with like two minutes Mm -hmm. left. Somebody needs to be able to step in and say, look, this kid's going in. Get him the damn ball every now and then. Needs to be happening with Danny Gray, too, in the in the receiving game. You need to be able to allow these younger, inexperienced, explosive players to showcase why the hell did you keep Jordan Mason on the roster? Why is he there? Why would you do this if you're not even going to allow him the opportunity? I just don't get it. Why did TDP play one snap and it was at fullback this week? It was, I, I I don't understand, and I I think that's because he doesn't have a checks and balance, yeah. right? He doesn't have a guy that he trusts their vision. With 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 Mike McDaniel, he trusted him a little bit, right? He's been with them for umpteen years, and if Mike says, "Man, we could we could try this run," it I guarantee you, we do this or do this or whatever. Remember, he's our run game coordinator for the longest before he was yeah. even promoted to OC. So Kyle had trust in him. He doesn't know Anthony Lynn like that. Then why'd you why'd you sign him up? He's a, he's a former head coach. Why well, I got excited when we signed Anthony Lynn. Shout out to Juan. I got excited when we signed Anthony Lynn because A, we were getting a former runner back. B, we were getting a former running back's coach. And C, you get a former head coach that drafted that mother freaker over there in Los Angeles. Like that can quarterback his behind off if his weapons are there. Look, I don't understand why you don't use Anthony Lynn. At least utilize him. He drafted Jordan Mason. That's his guy. That's his guy. Let his guy play. There must be issues between communications with Kyle and 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 Anthony, and that's why you're not allowing. You're not seeing him trust these these. You know the coaching. That's the. the I'm doing a show about Kyle Shanahan and and his issues within his issues, and 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 it has something to do with his inner self. It has nothing to do with him coaching. It just has to do with him having different types of personality issues and that could be what's holding back this team because this team is talented i've been getting arguments about talent so the one thing that i would do to go along with the next thing that i would do to go along with what you just said to piggyback off i would unleash the mother freaking talent like there's talent here and we'll never know what 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 they're gonna do hey here's my thing if 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 jeff wilson jr is getting stopped up the middle one yard two yards Cool. Fine. He's getting plugged. Put the bigger guy in there. Now that Jeff Wilson done kind of made a little space in the gap and let that big guy go get your four, five, six yards. Guys, they've never seen before. Make where abandoning the run in this game. And I know we're not supposed to be specifically talk about this game, but we watched him do this over and over again when he falls behind is what's detrimental to this team. This is why the team doesn't win. The team isn't built to win with a quarterback like Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, if the team had a different type of quarterback, not, that's not Jimmy Garoppolo. And this is not a knock on him. But if they had a different type of quarterback, a la Aaron Rodgers, a la one of those Tom Brady guys when you got a nice built team that can sit there and drive yourself down that field to get you in scoring position no matter what time is on the clock, get the ball down the field accurately, whatever, that's different. But we're not built like that. We don't even have those type of pieces on the offense. We have yak guys. The key to having Yak is getting those guys the ball quickly and opening space and letting them be your playmakers. We're not even doing that. And we did that in this past game. Then he went away from that. I, yeah. You liked his deep balls, pause, and 
I liked them as well, the passes. But those were detrimental because if you miss, <laughs> then you're behind. You're not... Yeah, okay. Okay. And if you're not going to run it, then it takes it away. The 49ers Rush Podcast.